Hey guys, Denis Kozor here. In this video I want to show you how to make this lamp. First of all we will model it, then unwrap and then make some renders. Here you can see only a fragment from a full video that available on my Patreon page. If you doesn't know what it is, Patreon is a way to support content you love on a monthly basis. First of all we need to add some drawings, so I will create plane with these sizes to keep the proportions. Just like this. After that drag and drop it to the plane and here I will create box and type in these sizes. Now I can move it to the zero wall coordinates. For the plane I will change pivot point to this corner and from here I will move this plane to this corner. Now I can use scale to match it with the real sizes like this and here if you need to do some fine tuning you can right click on this tool and here in offset screen enter small percentages like this. Now I can move these things a little bit back and we will begin from this head part of tripod lamp. I will press J to disable grid. And here we think as what the simple object matches with this shape. And I think the sphere is the best one. So I will create it from center like this, a little bit like that. Okay. And here I will press Alt X to make it transparent. And uh, I think it will be easier if we move the whole things to the zero coordinates of max. For the plane as well I will change pivot point just like this and move it. So everything matches up and now we can type segments for the sphere 24. As you can see we have this one segment that we can copy and uh, change only one part. So I will add edit poly modifier with the shift key copy as an instance and rotate it by 90 degree like that and here as you can see we match it with our shape like this here will be also a turbo smooth modifier that will round up our geometry and make it smoother here i will add some segment using connect and slide i can move it like this okay and now i will delete this part and this part as well. Now we have this round shape. Okay, next I will keep only this one segment. So from here I will delete these polygons, this one, this and uh, this one as well. Okay, now I can use symmetry modifier. Then using rotate, press one key and to activate this mirror and rotate by 15 degree. So we get this segment back, then apply another symmetry modifier and rotate then another one and repeat this process until you get the whole shape back. Pretty much amount of symmetry, but it will save our time a lot. And the last one like that. Fine. Now if I will change something here, it will change for the whole shape. It is very handy and useful. Now we need to make these kind of extrusions and to do so I will use Rapid Tools Spline FFD. You can download and install for free. It will help me avoid manual changes and uh, to make it work I need disable turbo smooth for a while. I will turn off all symmetry modifiers and here I will collapse to editable poly. Now because I will make from this element inner part I will add another edit poly modifier or just simply copy this as sphere I can write here inner and hide it for a while. Now here we can Go to the Rapid Tools, Geometry, Rapid Spline FFD. Here we need to select this edge and do it again like that. Here you can open FFD settings. 
and if you want to change for example number of these vertex you need to disable this line change this number and create this line again like this and now we have only four vertex here you can change from fixed to even spaces between the vertex for now i will just only change the position and here we can turn on symmetry modifiers to look how it works on the whole geometry and here i will try to keep the flow of these edges more even and here we can try to make even mode but i doesn't sure that it will help when i move them manually like this there are more chances that we will get the shape we are looking for and um, i will move them a little bit up like this so it have more volume in these changes and now let's continue like this i hope it is enough and now i can disable here i will add turbo smooth modifier to iterations and to make the hard edge like here we need to add segments here with the connect i will slide them to the edge and now as you can see cause them both more close to each other we get this hard edge i will make it at 90 and press ok hope to see you in my exclusive community check the link in the description see you soon bye